Okay, everybody. Uh, I hope the audio is okay because we're going to be working with this air conditioner today, and uh, there's just no way around. So uh, hopefully we can manage. We really got to get this done, regardless of how it sounds, and regardless of anything else, because I suspect a lot of the stuff with these guys. And I'll, I'll talk to you about that at 10 o'clock. So uh, this is my announcement. Mailbag starts at 10 o'clock. We're doing it in the room today for reasons that I'm sure you can guess, and I will explain fully in just a few minutes. I gotta get some more coffee in me and everything else. So I will see you in about eight minutes right here for Mailbag. And uh, thanks for being patient with uh, everything that has been going on the last, uh, well, I was gonna say week, but uh, you know I mean, ever. So uh, thank you.
All right, hey everybody, hang on, I can turn this down just a little bit, maybe that'll make things better. Can't turn it down all the way though, I just can't. That really doesn't seem like much of a difference. I'll talk loudly. Let's see what we can do. You just got to bear with me on this. Uh, so, hang on one sec. Get a little situated. Hi, kittens. I hope there's all six of you, seven of you in here. And of course, they're going to play with a noisy bell. That helps. Uh, and I didn't have time to think about setting up my mic, so that would have helped. So much planning. Hi, everybody. Hey, let's start with the jingle. You'll be able to hear that just fine. Hang on, though. Uh, ooh. All right, we're getting there. Hey, uh, 
hi everybody. All right, you see me from several angles today. How about that? Um, so first off, the air conditioner is running. It's going to keep running. I, I just, I'm not going to turn it off. It's way too hot everywhere right now. I'm especially way too hot right now because I've been running in and out, moving all these boxes. Frankly, I think the kittens and the cats are, are all right right now, but um, it's supposed to get much warmer during the day today, and uh, there's only so many rooms that we have the air conditioning in. So I want to keep those as cool as possible, and this is one of them. Um, when I say I think the cats and the kittens are okay, Maggie's out in the cat run, and she's the floofiest. She's got the most reason to complain about the heat, and she's outside enjoying it, so they're okay. Um, it's mostly just me and DJ that are suffering and then we project, but we want to make sure that the kittens don't overheat. And the only way to do that is to keep it cool anyhow. So, all right, enough of that about that. That's what we're doing. Uh, we're keeping it cool and that means uh, running the air conditioner and that means running the air conditioner during mailbag uh, and being in the same room with the portable air conditioner unit is just, uh, that's what we're doing. So uh, that's it. As long as you can hear me a little bit, we're, we're okay. Um, I should be talking to the camera, I guess, because that's where you can see my lips a little better. This one, maybe? I'll try. Um, I turned off the annex. DJ's up there right now checking on and trying to feed the kittens. I just saw her for half a second before we started mailbagging. She told me they're all doing great, except Paisley, who is losing weight during her weaning period. That's normal, uh, and she has a lot of extra weight, so she should be okay. But DJ's going to work on uh, trying to get her to eat. And if she doesn't eat and DJ thinks it's necessary, I will tube feed her if that's what it comes to. I'm just, uh, there we go. It's finally reached temperature, so now it's going to quiet down. It'll keep going on and off. We're just going to deal with it. Um, so I will tube feed Paisley if that's what we have to do. Um, but I'm hoping to put it off as long as possible. And like I said, we should expect some weight loss during the weaning period to be normal. And we want her to be hungry so that she'll eat. Uh, but I just saw DJ in there trying to hand feed her, and it's going as well for DJ as it goes for me. She basically does not want it. She wants a nurse. She's a princess. She doesn't want to do anything that we want her to do. She wants to do her thing. She's the one in charge. It is what it is. Uh, we'll work through it. She's going to be. She's going to get through it just fine. Speaking of getting through it just fine, Rotterdam is uh, beside himself frantic every time I leave the room. I mean, if I step one foot out of the room, he's frantic. In fact, if I even get up and go to the bathroom in the office, he's frantic. He just, he's losing his mind every time that he's alone for two seconds. So um, I think just like with a human baby, you might do, he's got to get past it. He's, he's just got to learn that once in a while he's going to be alone. Um, and uh, I think it'll be, you know, it's a good lesson for him overall. And so if we have to put up with a little bit of yelling here and there, um, then that's what we've got to do. Uh, that said, I do spend as much time as humanly possible in that room with him. But, uh, you know, I, I can't spend every single minute of the day in there. There's other things that have to be done around here. So that's, that's what he learns his lesson. Um, but I've, I've been sleeping in there with him at night, and uh, like I said, every every time that I've got any spare time at all, that's where I'm spending it all now, uh, which has, you know, been a little bit of a problem as far as trying to get things done around the academy. Um, also, I should say, I say problem, really, I'm using it as more of an excuse, because I could leave him in there more often on his own, I think, and he'll survive, even though he won't like it. Um, but I've been using it as a reason to go in there, and I've gotten a few things done, and video games and that kind of stuff. As far as his health goes... It's hard to say um, whether he's improving or not at this point. I think he is improving a little bit, but the, the primary symptoms uh, are still there. And when I say primary symptoms, I mean he doesn't eat on his own. I have to help him eat, and uh, he, he uh, drools a lot. And both of those things are still going on. Neither one of those things is really all that serious, um, because if I do help him eat, if I just syringe food into his mouth, he loves it. He loves eating. So it's not like, you know, you get, sometimes you get a sick cat that will refuse to eat, and then it's a real problem. He's not like that. He's, he's basically good. So, you know, we'll take what we can get, and we'll just deal with it until he feels better. Uh, for other anything, um, I think I covered it pretty well. Uh, oh, uh, important news, though, is that first off, we've got the new air conditioners coming uh, in about two weeks on the 8th and 9th, I think. If I'm not very much mistaken, I think that weekend is KAcon, which I've mentioned just a little bit. I, I, every year, I feel like I should have done more in the run-up to KAcon, and this year I've done less. Um, 
funny enough, in last week's mailbag, one of the things that I mentioned is uh, I keep saying to myself, okay, we've hit maximum like time commitment for me. Surely anything that happens from here is just going to free up time for me. Uh, and I said, last week I, I, I jinxed myself by telling everybody that I kept feeling that way and then saying, surely this is actually it now. We finally hit the real maximum time commitment. And from here on out, surely anything is just going to free up time. And Rotterdam got sick because I'm not going to say anything about it now. In fact, I'm going to say, surely I've got so much time to give. Anything could happen and we'll be fine with it. Uh, that's, uh, you know, like break a leg in Hollywood or something. So there we have it. Uh, I think that's all the news. I want to get through this mailbag because, uh, oh, that, there is one more piece of news. Speaking of why I want to get through mailbag. All of the boys and their mom, Fort and Millet, have adopters that, well, uh, have adopters that are approved, except Rotterdam and Puget, who, uh, last I heard from dogs, were still waiting to hear from the person they want to approve to make sure that they're still on board. So uh, the presumption is that they will say yes, and that Rotterdam and Puget will go together, which is nice, because if Rotterdam is always going to be so frantic being left alone, surely being left with one of his brothers is going to fix that right up, and he'll be fine. Um, so that's nice, too. Not only that, but that, what a fluky pair. That's going to be awesome if it works out. So with those two being a, a strong maybe, everybody else has been spoken for. I've contacted all of the adopters by email to say, you guys, you know that you're approved. Dawes told you're approved. Let's set up the adoption date. And so far, um, we've got Fort getting picked up for her adoption on Wednesday. And then uh, I think some of the boys are going to get picked up for their adoption next Saturday. Uh, that's uh, or this coming Saturday, I guess, uh, six days from now, however you want to call it. So um, Fort on Wednesday, some of the boys on Saturday. The rest of them aren't scheduled yet. But my guess is, my presumption is, most people will aim for next weekend if they possibly can. Uh, I know if I had been approved to adopt one of these boys, I'd want to home with me as soon as possible. Next week, it makes a pretty good time for that from my perspective because we've got to get through this mailbag to make sure that any endowments for them are accounted for today. And then tomorrow, uh, I've got to sort all of the endowments out and make sure that they're ready to go. It's convenient that somebody sent us some giant boxes. Uh, these are going to be really nice for sorting out the endowments because uh, I haven't done that yet. Right now, in the basement, there's just a giant single pile that says port and oranges on it, and it's got all of their endowments, and it's huge. So, uh, so I'm excited to dive into it, though. It's always, it's always a little bittersweet to see them leave, and I, I always want to put off sorting the endowments until the last minute because it feels like such a burden. But then when I actually go and do it, it's joyful, and it's so fun to go back over all the amazing things that people have sent for them and all the love that people have sent and uh, some of the personal items, you know, that, that folks have, have sent to go home with the kittens and uh, it's it's heartwarming. Uh, it, it's so sweet to see that all over again uh, as I sort them out. It's just wonderful. So I'm going to enjoy it when, when it comes to it. And I'm going to dread it up until that moment, <laughs> so, which is probably tomorrow, like I said. All right, that's enough intro. We've got a lot to get through. I'm going to try to keep it moving. Um, so that uh, I have a day, uh, you know, after this to hang out with DJ and also so that Rotterdam doesn't get left alone for too long all at once. Um, so I guess here we are. I got a little ant asleep on my lap already. These boys are so sweet. Since Rotterdam uh, took ill with the Khaleesi virus this week, I haven't had as much time as I want to hang out with these orange boys. And now if I settle down for one minute where they can find me, they're all over me and it's wonderful. It's so sweet. DJ's been picking up the slack on that, by the way. They've been staying with her every night, so they at least have the human company then, and hanging out with her in the evenings. And I do hang out with them during the day, just not as much as I would want. So, all right, uh, we're going to get into it with the letter reading, just like always. Uh, but before we do, I want to just take a quick, quick peek at the chat, make sure that I'm audible, even though I know I can't sound good over the air conditioner. Again, it is what it is. And uh, then we'll see where we're going from there. So I might want to adjust the cameras a little bit. I don't know. I don't, I'm not usually quite so present on camera and I can deal with it, but I know you're not here to see me and there's kittens in the trees and stuff. So let me check all that. Oh, of course, now I'm going to be quiet for a second and so is the air conditioner. Me and the air conditioner. All right, let's see here. 
Can I at least lower this down a little bit so you guys remain uncertain if I have a head? No, that's not going to work. That's fine. And who else? I checked on the chat. The first thing I see is the picture of the airplane that Alto Clarinet Lady posted, and I thought, great, they're saying it sounds like I'm talking inside a jet engine. Uh, but no, that was about what it's going to take to get the, uh, the endowments home. Oh, uh, yes, the address. Good. Okay, let's get the address on the screen. Thanks for the reminder, everybody. Good. I'm glad that the, the noise canceling on the microphone is mostly blocking out the AC, apparently, so that's good. I'm glad you can hear me well enough. Uh, that's that's all that matters. Well enough is all we're shooting for for today's mailbag. So, we always start with the letters. We've got some letters today, and uh, I'm going to start right off with rambling. I wanted to say before I forget to mention it, as I was going through these, and then this has happened in past weeks, too, I, as I'm going through the mailbag, I noticed... Um, just how how much care people put in and how much it costs to ship things. I, like, we all know that. If you drop some, ship something from Amazon, you got Amazon Prime. I mean, technically, it does cost you. Amazon's not a charity, and they roll those prices into whatever they do to make it work. But uh, the people that send stuff to us personally, um, the this post office puts stamps on there that tells how much the shipping was. And every time, I'm like, oh, my gosh, these people, uh, everybody... Is, is, has put so much into this. I want to tell you how much I appreciate that and how much I feel for your pocketbook. But I also wanted to say how much I appreciate this. And I know uh, if I were, you know, in, in everybody else's shoes here, um, you know, I might feel like that shipping was, was too much, but I really wanted to do something. And I always encourage letters. I love getting letters. Um, the kittens love hearing me read to them, I'm sure. So it works out for everybody. Uh, and, you know, it's much uh, easier to do. So, um, I, you know, if, you, if you've always felt like you wanted to send something in and participate in mailbag that way, uh, but the shipping is a burden, and uh, I'm not saying if the shipping is a burden, it is, uh, then uh, think about a letter, maybe. I like that. I always like it. So, here we go. I hope that came out right, and that you, you get the idea of what I was trying to say anyway, even if it doesn't all come out right every time. So, uh, our first letter today says J.B., care of Kitten Academy. Aw, oh, welcome babies. That's so cute. Welcome babies. To K.A. Welcome to K.A., babies. Such enormous love from such a tiny bundle. Congratulations. What cutie bot pies love the Catterns and their mom loom, J.B.? Thank you, JB. That is sweet. And this little lion is so cute. It looks uh, just like one of these boys, actually. No little lions in that group, but uh, Rotterdam and uh, Puget are definitely little lions. I hope there, uh, Puget's in here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Hi, Puget. Good. JB, thank you so much. Actually, I'm going to separate that. I'm going to put this over here. Okay. Uh, very sweet. And here we have another card from Joy F with those googly-eyed kittens on it that are just so silly. Uh, well, you can see those googly-eyed kittens there. Hi, DJ! Hi, DJ! I don't know if she can't hear me over all the noise or if she's deliberately ignoring me. Oh, I can't hear you over all the noise! Louder! It's, uh, okay, so this says, Your kindness made a difference. The butterfly. That's aw. And there's a gift in here. Thank you very much. It says, uh, "Oh, and your thoughtfulness touched my heart. Thank you. So sweet, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Few people are willing to dedicate so much of their time to helping mom cats deliver and nurture their kittens. I am more grateful than words can express for the opportunity to share this journey. Although the enclosed gift card is for the faculty, please use it for whatever you feel is needed." Lots of admiration and kitty hugs from Bayou, Abby, Lila, and Joy. Well, thank you so much, Joy. That is really, 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 really generous of you. My goodness. Uh, there's also a gift sticker in here. Does it say, uh, for the awesome faculty from Bayou, Abby, Lila, and Joy. Thank you so much. 
and that's a uh, very generous. The number on here is smudged, but the number in here is not. So uh, I know exactly how generous that is, and it is a lot. Uh, Joy, I thank you very, very much. For now, I'm going to tuck it in there so I find it later when uh, I need it. Okay. And so it doesn't get filed away with the cards. Joy, I thank you very, very much. Um, all right. Oh, original pattern brewing. What is this with cats on it? Original pattern brewing, kitten commotion, hazy IPA, 6.8 alcohol. Uh, look at that. It's like a beer label uh, for a hazy IPA called kitten commotion from original pattern brewing with all these little kitties. That's so cute. Who made this up? That's not a real thing, is it? Dear Mr. A and DJ, I discovered your channel right before Court had her orange boys. I've really enjoyed watching them grow up. I'll miss them, but I'm happy they will all go to homes and Court and Millet too. We found this IPA, which reminded me of the oranges and their kitten commotion. If I had more time, I would have made them into magnets, but a card will have to do. I am too hooked watching the live stream. I am now enjoying watching Loom's kittens as they get bigger every day. Thank you for all you do both for vulnerable mom cats and their kittens. I live in California, far away from Connecticut, but I hope to adopt a pet in the future when the time is right. In the meantime, thank you so much, Kitten Academy. Sincerely, Allison. I think that says Allison. I'm going to go with Allison. Allison, thank you so much. This is the coolest thing. I can't believe this is a real uh, brewing company. And how about that? It ties the two groups together. We've got the Orange Kitten Commotion, and it's the Pattern Brewing. Original Pattern Brewing. That's the coolest thing. Thank you so much for that beer label. Uh, I can't believe that's real. That's just amazing. Allison, thank you so much, and thanks for joining us. Thanks for sending the note. I, I just, I love it. It's perfect. So uh, this one comes from Dawn, a.k.a. Morning Sunrise on the Discord. Which, uh, if you're named Dawn, that is the most perfect nickname. You just can't beat it. All right. And I know, I recognize now, we've gotten enough of these that I recognize this is going to be one of those pop-up cards. And they always have on the front what they have inside. So I'm surprised that they can do a pop-up of two little flowers with hearts. But let's see. Oh, it's more than that. It's a whole bunch of flowers. That's pretty cute. It says, all you need is all you need. Oh, all you need is love. I see it. They spell out love. Oh, hey, look, it took me a minute. That makes more sense. Love. Uh, now I get it. And, <laughs> and uh, you know, puberty uh, comes to some of us later than others. Uh, we've got a note that says, hello there, Kitten Academy. Haven't written in a while. Wanted to say hello. This is the last of my pop-up cards. I figured Maggie will have fun with it. So love watching Court and her oranges now loom in her catterns, plus the faculty. You and Dr. DJ are such special people. Your dedication to these cats is truly amazing. You must have been in awe of all you've touched, even in different countries. I've started volunteering at my local animal shelter. I take care of the feline adoption room. I absolutely love it. I get to pat and feed the kittens. When I leave, I say a prayer to them and find oh, to find their forever homes. Once again, I thank you very much for all you do and know that you You've touched a lot of people all over the world. At that point, she ran out of ink. So it says, many blessings to you and DJ Dawn, a.k.a. Morning Sunrise on Discord. Thank you so much, Dawn. And this may not make it to Maggie because these little kittens seem like they are all about it. All they need is some love to destroy right here. We'll let them have it. There you go. Uh, that's it for the letters segment. Of course, I'm sure we will find more cards and letters in all of these boxes. So, I don't even know where to start. We've got to get through all of it. I've got to get through all of it. You don't have to stay for all of it if you don't want to. That's up to you. But, uh, it has to be done. So, so let's do it. Letter opener, go right back in here so we don't lose you. All right, we're just going to start right here with this. There's a note right on top, easy to find. It says, oh, excuse me. Hello, for Millet, 
but Port Butt, Loom Butt, and the faculty Ari and Eddie Butts. If I already missed Millet and Port, you can give them to Dawes or anywhere else that helps furry butts or future KA kittens. P.S. My cat loved these toys. I think it was the eyes that got her attention. Jess. I wrote each name on the toy that they get on the back. Well, thank you so much. That is really cool. I like it when people do that, uh, Jess, uh, so that um, so uh, it's easy for me when it comes time to sort the endowments. I can just look at it. So here's one for Millet. It's got these. Uh, it's got a li little cocktail wiener dog and a mouseroni cheese with cheese for Millet. Uh, I don't know if I'm putting that in a place where the camera can see. Here we have one with teeny sardini and mouseroni cheese for Loom. Ari and Eddie get to share this crazy mouse with the sunglasses. Um, I should say Ari Butt, Eddie Butt. Port Butt uh, has a teeny sardini and a little uh, cocktail wiener dog. Loom uh, gets this mouse that looks like he wants to give her a hug. Uh, ooh, these are new ones to me. This one is a, it's got a weird little half spring thing for port, for port butt. I bet you like those because they are sort of half spring, half worm. That seems like exactly the kind of thing that port might go for. Uh, I've never seen those before. That's a new one to me. And these kids are already tearing apart something that's not for them. Ari butt and Eddie butt. Okay, so they can pick between the two now. This one's sort of a, a gopher. Looks like a gopher to me. It doesn't say what it thinks it is, so I'm going to go for that. <laughs> I'm going to go for that. Oh, man. Uh, Millet has this little green mouse wearing a little tuxie vest. Ooh, I don't think I've seen this one before either. This one's got a long stocking cap hat that says Millet on it. Also, it's a lion jumping out of a or the lion as seen by uh, um, Danny Elfman. Yes, there we go. Danny Elfman lion. That's what I'm going for. Because that's a topical reference. And another one for Ari Butt and Eddie Butt. Look at that. Thank you so much, Jess. Wow. That is awesome. These, they are all going to love these. And uh, I should break them up into stuff that is for, well, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. But stuff for faculty, stuff for Loom's class, and stuff for the other class. So uh, that's Millet, Loom, faculty. We'll just we'll start there. Why not? For in this group, Ari and Eddie are in that group. Millet is in this group. Oh, that was my finger. Uh, Loom, or you kids want to play with these, and now if I don't put them away, that's exactly what you're going to do, isn't it? I don't know why I sort of does. That's not going to last two seconds. Let's see if we can get a box to help us out here. Very cool. Jess, thank you so much for those, by the way. I think I said that already, but I'm going to say it again. Okay. Uh, wow. Lots of notes here. The notes say and not. Uh, well, I don't know exactly which thing is which, but I think we can deduce uh, what is what. So one says to go with the cairns, the fish blankets, and silver vine. Enjoy your gift uh, from J.M. Paraday-Snow. That's, uh, I think I'm doing that right, Jackie. Um, I... Oh, I see. Well, maybe I gave away more of the name than I was supposed to, um, but that's that's all right. So, the fish, blankets, and silver vine go home with the catterns. Uh, that's Loom's kids upstairs, so we're going to put that right there for a second. That's the blankets, the fish. Oh, look at these. Wow, I love that fish, especially I like the top one. Uh, I like they're all cool, though. we got a camel one in the middle, a very shiny one on the bottom, and that uh, cute little plaid on the top. So, that's cute. This says 24 pieces natural silver vine. I'm not going to open the box. You guys know what silver vine looks like. That's going to be perfect for them. They're going to love it. I'm going to take this packing material out. Uh, divide silver vine among the caterns and send home along with the fish and blankets. Enjoy your gift. Send home with caterns. Okay, I see. I know they don't have assigned colors yet. Do your best. Enjoy your gift. Jackie. All right, Jackie. We're just calling you Jackie now. Um, so uh, thank you so much. So this is now our box for stuff for Loom and her kids. That's, that's how we're going to start. Put that right over there. And uh, for the rest of it, we're going to need another box. So let's keep going. Port's at the door like, like she should be allowed back in right now. Uh, that reminds me, I mentioned Port's getting adopted on Wednesday. I wanted to specifically bring it out in light of the fact that I know she's been smacking her kids around a little bit here and there. 
So uh, only until Wednesday. And I think the most important thing about it is that, that they're fine. You know, she does. I know it's not fun to watch sometimes, but she actually pulls her punches pretty well. And uh, they could take her out if they wanted to. They really could. So uh, so they're not hurting, uh, and, you know, literally. Look at this. Amazon is packed a, a shipping thing inside of a box. That's a little crazy. And this one's also labeled. That they're both labeled with our address. It's like they were going to ship it in this, and they're like, no, we better put a box on it. But after they already paid for the shipping? Oh, no. I can tell what this is. I can tell exactly what this is. And I guess that means I know what it's for, even if there's not a note. But let's see if there's a note. Let's see if there's a knife. Uh, there should be a knife somewhere. Okay, I'm going to put these in here. I literally just used it to open that box. Here it is. Okay. There we go. Both save this for returns. Well, let's see if this will actually work. Kind of. Now we've got a piece of plastic for the kids to eat, so that's perfect. Yep. It's just what I thought. And there is a note. Good. The note says, Crinkle balls! One bag to split between me and my kids. One bag for future endowments. Everyone needs to learn how much fun Mylar balls are from Court. Uh, via the underscore kittens Amazon account. Thank you, the underscore kittens. Of course, Mylar balls are the perfect thing to send for Court. Uh, we all know that. She's already got quite a few, and now she's got quite a few more. Look at that. So one of these can go right in here for Court, whoop, like that, and one can go for uh, faculty and future endowments. Look at that. That is a lot of Mylar balls. Uh, those are big, too. Wow. And uh, they feel like the, the sturdy ones, you know, some of them are made out of thicker mylar and some of them are made out of thinner mylar, and they're both fun. These feel like the thick ones, though. DJ likes the thick ones. She thinks they're more quality. And now we got a bag I can put that plastic into. Now, you guys can hang on to that one for now. That's fine. Good. Okay. Uh, the underscore, I mean, Port. Uh, Port, thank you so much, Port. She's outside the door, probably. That's probably why she was looking in. She just wanted to see me open her gift. All right, well, consider that done. All right. Oh, this can go in there, too, now. Now we have a trash bag. Perfect. Well, Amazon's extra packaging really worked out in that case. All right. I don't think this mailbag is as big as it seems. It's just that it's large. These, these boxes, uh, by the way, the reason we had to pull off mailbag yesterday is I went to the post office. I was already running late and already postponed it to 1030 because of that. And part of that is, you know, just me being me. Part of it I can probably blame on Rotterdam and part of it I can blame on the kittens upstairs not wanting to eat. Uh, so I get to share the blame around, uh, not entirely my own. But then I got to the post office and I, the, the post people brought out one giant bin of stuff and they were like, there's three more boxes that are really big, which are these three here. Uh, there's three more boxes that are really big. So I'm like, all right, let me take this out to the car. I'll come back for those. So I took it out to the car. I came back in, and they gave me these three boxes. And I'm like, there's, I, I don't know if I can make those fit. So they said, well, you can leave one here, but you've got to come right back for it because we've already scanned it. So we can't keep it here. Uh, so uh, that's basically, long story short, exactly what I had to do. I couldn't fit all the boxes in despite I tried so hard. Uh, I got to turn in my Tetris championship uh, title. Um, because it's just, I couldn't make it work. I feel like there would have been a way to make it work if somebody was really clever. Couldn't do it. So uh, I left one of the boxes there. I came home. I canceled the mail back completely because I didn't want to just keep pushing it back, uh, especially if, if I then was late trying to get to feed kittens and things. Couldn't do it. So that's why we're doing it today, and that's why there's three giant boxes. And that's why the, this mail bag is more about volume than I think probably overall quantity. So if I would just shut up and, and open stuff, we might get through it in finite time. So uh, let's work on that. Let's see what this says. There's a note here. The note says, <clears throat> enjoy your gift, a small gift for Port and her boys. Going to miss watching them from Linda B. Uh, a, oh, and also a gift for Loom and her babies. They're so adorable. A sweet sight with Loom and her babies on your lap from Linda B. Linda B, that is really sweet of you. I hope that's two of the same thing, though, because I don't know how to tell. Ooh, it's not. We're going to have to guess, I think. All right, let's figure it out. So uh, we've got two things in here. 
Oh, no, they are. They are this. No, they're not the same. Okay, wow. I'm going back and forth on that. All right, Linda B. Linda B has sent us two bags of cat toys. One is ice cream cones. Wow, these look like really good ice cream cones, too, because they got the, like, I don't know if this is supposed to be, like, a chocolate on the outside, but there's definitely some kind of a, an icing or thing going on there. Uh, and sprinkles. Oh, they're all different. Look at that. We got a mint chip right here. We got uh, uh, sprinkles on this one, real sprinkles. Um, oh boy, everything. I want to eat all these. They look great. So different little ice cream cones in one bag. And in the other bag, it says, it says cat. Oh, this bag has a drawstring. Bombay is over there chewing on the box. Just chewing on the box. Chewing on it. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that. These are uh, little animals of some kind. This looks like an abstract dinosaur or maybe a weird caterpillar. Here we have a smiling banana. Uh, this looks like the Loch Ness Monster to me. And we have an alligator, very clearly. I like that with the long nose and the way he's grinning. That's adorable. Uh, a, a weird little uh, chip gopher beaver thing, whatever. I gotta see all these. Oh, uh, uh, llama or alpaca? Oh, and this one's got the special fuzz on it too to really make the point. Another weird dinosaur thing. Uh, mouse. How appropriate. Oh, and that's it. Okay. And it says catnip filled cat toys. So we've got to figure out one for the boys and one for Loom and her kids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. That's indicative of something. One, two, three, four, five, six of these. All right, so <coughs> I think that means that these have to go to Loom and her babies because there's six of them and six of these. And uh, which box was for Loom? That's this one that they're all playing in. And then there's eight of, uh, of Port and her babies and eight of these. So these have to go to Port. Makes too much sense, doesn't it? Too much sense. Thank you very much, uh, L B L L uh, Linda uh, Linda Linda. Where'd the note go? Linda B. Yes, I remembered correctly. Linda Linda B. Thank you so much. Those little animal uh, cat toys are adorable. I love the way they're designed. So I'm sure Fort and her babies will really appreciate that. Uh, they're trying to appreciate it early, ahead of schedule. All right. So, what next? All right, just this thing right here. It's very, very heavy. Oh, I see baby blankets. Beautiful blue baby blankets. Beautiful blue baby blankets. Blah, 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 blah. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I recently started watching Kitten Academy, and I think the kittens are so cute. My kittens, Tucker and Toby, insisted I send some of the toys they love to play with for Loom, uh, for Loom and her kittens to take to their forever homes. I also included a mat that can be used for food bowls or just to sleep on like my boys like to do. My boys also wanted to send some of their favorite treats, food, and mats to use as you see fit. Thank you for taking such great care of the mom cats and the kittens until they find their forever homes. Rose, Tucker, and Toby. Well, Rose, Tucker, and Toby, thank you so much. Let's see if we can figure out what is what. All right. So first off, we have, I see, oh, look at that. You've individually packaged everything. Oh, and labeled it, how sweet. Oh, this is so cute. So this is a beautiful little blanket with some moose and owls and a whole bunch of toys. And it is labeled for herringbone. How perfect. Uh, then, so that will go in this box right here. Okay, we're going to get this sorted right now. Hang on. That's for herringbone. Now we have this uh, polka dotted and blue blanket. Very nice. And some more toys for Argyle. Wonderful. And... This pink one, uh, the pink one with the little box heads on it, interesting, for Paisley, Princess Paisley, pink Princess Paisley, the blue polka dot, and all the toys for Basket Weave, and a giant pink polka dot, and a whole bunch of toys for Moon. Oh, one more. 
Chevy. Here we have a, uh, oh, the blue pattern with the me mo mooses. Meese, mo um, mo mooses. Yes, okay, for Chevron. Thank you so much. Wow, those are awesome. Uh, Rose and Tucker and Toby. Toby, yes, Toby. Uh, these are very soft lichens, too. They're nice flannel, but they're stitched with two different materials, so the, the seam is all felled internally. Unlike most of the baby blankets, the ones, the receiving blankets that we get that we just go through like they were water, um, they just, they don't finish the edges. They just surge them and leave them. So there's these little threads on them, uh, which has never caused a problem, but this is so much nicer. These are very fancy, if you will. So we've got one of those uh, in the polka dot. We've got one with little cars on it and polka dots. And we've got one here with little, uh, tiny, tiny polka dots and the uh, oh, this blue uh, pattern on the inside. Super nice. Uh, oh, and these are for everybody. So for to use as we see fit. So for now, I'm going to put them in the as we see fit pile. Is what we're calling that. Plus, you sent uh, fancy feast, classic pad day chicken. Oh wow, uh, Joe Tucker. Yes, Tucker and Toby have great taste because that is exactly the perfect food for these kittens. Plus, we have Rachel Ray Nutrition. Love bites. Real chicken is the number one ingredient. I like that idea. And we also have one in salmon. These will be fun to try. I've been fishing around, haha, -ha, a little bit, salmon, uh, for uh, some new treats that we can use to uh, don't cause bad poops like the Temptations. DJ loves to give out treats as often as she can, and she just keeps the Temptations. She just grabs a handful and like throws them out for the kittens. And they love it. She loves it. It's a lot of fun, and I don't want to take that away from her. But too many temptations give them bad poops. So I'm hoping to find something that is a little bit more wholesome. Uh, we'll see. Maybe this is it. Uh, speaking of, you've also sent the blue bursts, which I noticed we've got some of before. And DJ's tried out on them, but I haven't seen how they like it or anything. That's an entirely DJ project. So bursts, there we go. We've got those in three different flavors. Perfect. That's great. And I'm going to use your box now for stuff that is for... Uh, I guess general purpose uh, and or faculty. Oh, oh, oh. So that includes these. My large ball got in here. There we go. Oh, by the way, I'm going to set it right over here. Oh, Rose, Tucker, and Toby, thank you so much for those. That is stuff that is uh, going to go to wonderful use around the academy. And uh, these kids, I love that you've labeled these and, and set them up each specifically for one kitten. Uh, that's that's so nice. It's fun, and it, it shows that little extra bit of consideration too. Because you've got to think to yourself, like, you know, what would Chevy really like, or you know, that kind of a thing. So it's cute. Just like with those little mice, uh, they're gonna love those too. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. Here we got another drop ship from Amazon. Let's check it out. Hi, Pugie. You look so much like your brother Rotterdam. If you two go together, they're going to have a hard time telling you two apart. You're like mirror image curtains. Okay. Let me just take a look at uh, what's going on here. One sec. Um, oh, I see. Well, I am pretty far from the camera. I got a request to move it closer, but uh, that's kind of awkward to do. So instead, let's see if we can just zoom in a bit. There, that's got to be a little better, right? We'll work with it. Okay, I see a ton of silver vine and little pet scratchy things and uh, quite a box full of stuff. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we can find some notes. No. Wait, wait. Oh, oh wow. Holst, look at this. It's like a sheaf of paper from Amazon. This is a lot. Okay. Oh, Amazon, uh, it says Lisa for Kittens. I think I got a warning that Lisa for Kittens sent a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, not, okay, Silver Vine Sticks for the Oranges Endowments and other kitties, Bombay Six. Um, Silver Vine Sticks for the Oranges Endowments and other kitties, Antwerp One. 
I see. Uh, Silver Mine Six for the Oranges and Down with another kitten's Rio Five. It's almost like a secret code. Silver Mine Sticks uh, for the Oranges and Other Kitties, Port 8. Silver Mine Sticks for the Oranges and Down, it's Another Kitties, Sydney 4. Silver Mine Sticks for the Oranges and Down, it's Another Kitties, Halifax 7. Silver Mine Sticks for the Oranges and Down, it's Another Kitties, Millet 9. Silver Mine Sticks for the Oranges and Down, it's Another Kitties, Rotterdam 3. Uh, oh, now we got something different. Chit kitten Chew Toy Crayfish. Do you say crayfish or crawfish where you're from? Uh, after the last attempt by someone trying to send this ended in a consolation prize fish, I was hesitant to order one each for the kitten. So this is for K.A. use. Kitten chew toy crayfish crawfish. Well, I don't, I don't know what we got to yet, but we'll find it. Okay, hang on. Self-grooming brush. These can be mounted on a cat tree or chair leg or other places. There are six. I hope that will work out as one per pair of oranges and downments. I do believe it will, actually. Port and Millet, one of six. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, and Port and Millet. Okay, same note. So that's a self-grooming bra. Uh, six of six. Okay, okay. Self-grooming brush. I get it for endowments. Um, self-grooming brush. Okay. Rainbow foam balls for endowments and deployment. There should be enough for both uses from Lisa. Lisa, you, you sent an amazing uh, amount of stuff and so generous. And I don't think it's all in this box. So it's weird that Amazon put all of your notes in one box. We're going to have to try to use the noodle to remember this long enough to open the other stuff. Speaking of, I was so embarrassed. Uh, if you haven't been watching mailbags because I haven't uploaded them. I'm way behind on that. I've got to do it. But if you have been watching mailbags, Two weeks ago, you saw me open a note that said, uh, we're sending the, this uh, gray ball chair for Rio, so you don't have to open it. We sent you a note that told you we're sending it for Rio, so you don't have to open the chair. Then the following week, the chair arrived, and I'm like, oh, there's no note. Who is this from? I'm mystified. It says it's for Rio, but I don't know anything about it. Like, I just have every week, every day, I'm like the tabula rasa, like just a blank slate. Um, and uh, I can lose it in five minutes, really. I feel like uh, the guy from Memento, I, I really relate to him, except I'm not murdering people or tattooing myself, but other than that, he and I, simpatico. So, uh, all right. So uh, uh, let's see if we can figure this out. Lisa for Kittens, first off, thank you so much. You sent a ton of stuff, and I know uh, some of these giant boxes are also your fault. So uh, I just I say thank you so much. I can't believe how generous you are to these kittens and how wonderful it is. And let's see if we can figure it all out now. Um, so, first off, this is, oh, these have got to be the, wait, there's another note here. There was a note about balls, right? Where did that one go? Uh-oh. See, I've already lost it. And the amount of time it took me to tell you. That is really remarkable. Enjoy your gift. All that one says is enjoy your gift. No, I, I think I lost a note. There's something about this. What am I doing? <sighs> All right, here we go. Just got to keep moving at some point and say, All right, we got this. I think uh, you said this is for there should be enough for everyone, right? That's what your note said. There should be enough for everyone. And then I don't know where that note went. But I think I get the idea because this is for. So first off, these are those. Um, they're sort of like I, they're not pith, but they're like they're like a pithy sort of foam consistency. Um, and these are so fun. They they're like a great weight. They're really light and safe for the kitties. They will chew them up eventually if they really like them. We had one cat, a uh, panda, um, that I think was pre KA. And she loved these things. We had to order them by the box like this for her. She was crazy about these little light, pithy balls. Uh, I, I like these things. 
do the really fun. You really throw them around. You don't have to worry about breaking anything. So you sent us a big supply of these, and you say these are for court and they're oranges and for everybody, right? I'm going to put them in with this, and we'll get those in the endowments, and then we'll split them up for everybody else. And one right now, because those are fun. Okay. Uh, this says, oh, it says pet scratching board on it. But this is what you said was the self-groomer, also for court and her endowments. Oh, I see. Look at that. It's a silicone grooming thing. Silicone. Silicone is the rubber, and silicone is the PCB. Um, so uh, it's shaped like a kitty, and it's got two Velcro straps on the back, so you put it on, say, the cat tree. It would fit perfect around one of these branches on the cat tree or anything else. And look at that. You need a lot of self-grooming, don't you, buddy? Oh, it's like, ah! All right. So you set a whole bunch of these for port and the oranges to go with them in groups. All right. Right in here for now. I think we're going to need a bigger box. Getting a bigger boat. And then, as you say, silver vine uh, for the oranges and other kitties. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten of those. Ten for uh, seven, eight, nine kitties. So there's really just one extra if we look at it that way. I'll put that one over there and put the nine over here because that's one for Millet and Fort and the seven kids, right? There we go. Thank you so much. And I did find it. Look, I didn't think we were going to find what I, everything in this box, but here it is. There, it was all in the box after all. This is that weird crayfish. I don't remember getting anything exactly like this one before. You say we did, but it's not, it's really not ringing any bells, uh, except that it really is ringing a bell. And there's a bell right here. I'm sure you can't hear it over all that noise. Um, huh. And oh, I see there's a catnip packet here, and it's like a rubber crayfish that must be for teasing, like the sharks are. Oh, the end of that? It looks like it would be perfect for them to chomp on. It's a little more solid than the sharks are. The back end is like actually solid. Um, and the front has a little hole into which I suppose you could put this bell. I see. That bell is probably supposed to stay in there and probably does most of the time, but it's almost the same size where it can just fall right out. They're blocking that camera. Oh, they work. Okay. That's fun. Uh, you said you just use this for whatever. Uh, you said somebody else sent you shrimp and it didn't work out. Maybe that's why I don't remember. This is pretty cool for a little bitey toy, though, if they're going to bite on it. Uh, I don't know where to put it right now, so we'll just have that laying around the academy, I guess. It already has a packet of catnip in there. Oh, maybe if I use this one, we can block the, the bell in with it, though. You think it'll jingle if it can't move around? Let's just shove that right in there. Still got a tiny jingle. Now you really can't hear it, though. I can hardly hear it. All right, let's leave that out and see what happens. Lisa, four kittens. Uh, I think we're going to be hearing more of your name during today's mailbag. Wow, all that was actually in there, though. That is a lot of notes. Okay. I think this box is going to come in real handy in just a minute. So I'm just going to leave it right here. And see what's next. Oh, I see. It's a slightly squished box. Slightly squished. And also really packed in there. Perfect feline interactive cat toy. All right. We're getting somewhere. It says Titan's Tower, purple four-level Titan's Tower, Ball Tower for Port or for KA, you decide. I think Port may already have a three-level one in her endowment. This one has four levels. Oh, my gosh. We're going to five blades. Uh, so this is from Lisa for Kittens, technically for Port. Um, I will, you know what, I'm going to write on it. Uh, I'm going to write technically for Port and put it in with her endowments. And then as I'm distributing them, we can decide if she's already got enough. Oh, this is bigger than your average ball thing, though. Much bigger. Look at that. The box is crushed. This is fine. Where's the, do we have a regular tower here? Look at this. So this is the, all the regular towers we have are this size. And you can see right away, this one's got the bottom layer that's bigger. And then it's probably the same size as the rest, yep, from there on up. So this is like a regular three ball tower. 
uh, stacked on top of another layer. Oh, we're going to four. It's like that onion headline about them making five bladed razors and now they make five bladed razors. Uh, so that's a thing. Anyway, this is really cool. This is going to be great and uh, it's going to be good for port. You know who needs one of these. Uh, if, if port's already got enough, because a port does like this stuff and I'm sure she would love it, but you know who really likes the ball tower and is big uh, is uh, Loom. Loom is crazy about her ball tower and she's big enough to take an extra large ball tower. So I'm going to label this, like you said, for port, um, but if port does already have a regular one, I know exactly what to do with it. So I'm just going to write uh, port technically or maybe boom. How about that? Ha! A little note to myself. And I'm going to put it right here. This box is, that box is really falling apart though. That, that box is not, that was its last use. All right. Um, all right. Let's, let's keep clearing some stuff here. Lisa, four kittens. That's really cool. I did not know that they made a four level ball tower. They're taking it, they're taking it to the next, that's the phrase I was looking for. Cooling mat. Fermi loves his. I hope some kitties at KA will prefer this to the bare floor. Use as you see fit from Lisa Four Kittens. Wow, I, I, this is even more stuff than I was led to believe you were sending, Lisa Four Kittens. Uh, that's Lisa the number four kittens. We all know you. So this says it's a cooling mat, but I've had uh, like camping cooling mats that are like, they're like a gel filled um, plastic almost. Uh, in fact, we've got one that's out, I think it's in the garage right now. I should go look for that too. Well, that actually does feel cooler than the rug even. Huh, magical. So this is a little nicer than that because, like I said, those are plastic and they're gel and it's weird to lay on. I imagine the cats wouldn't like it. But this is actually cool. What is this magical material? So on the back, it's got a mesh backing. And on the front, it's got some kind of fabric that's quilted in these little circles. And is uh, it actually is cooler to the touch than you would expect. That's craziness. Not bad. So yeah, uh, we, we can let uh, we can let Loom try it out. Although I think some cats, it's I don't think it's all about how cold it is. I think some cats just like the hard surface, and some cats like a soft surface. And Loom seems like she's one of the ones that likes the hard surface, and Port is one that likes the soft surface. It's so cute. Uh, most of the mom cats are the the hard kind, and uh, Port, you know, you see her in here. She kneads on the marshmallow bed. You remember when she was up in her room and we had all those beds, she'd pick a bed and she'd eat it and then she'd lay down on it. So sweet for a cat that actually likes to use the cat beds, isn't it? This is interesting. We'll try it out for Lou uh, one way or the other. I'm surprised how cool it, how much cooler it is considering. Um, all right. Uh, pick something and open it, I guess. Ooh, fun tubes! Uh, these kids can't get enough fun tubes. I mean, they literally can't because they keep losing them. And uh, the fun tubes are one of the favorite toys of Millet. As you know, Millet is a fun tube fanatic. That's his thing. Oh, I think he heard me. Hi, Millet. Let's see. Fun tubes, please put these in my endowment. I love them so much. Well, I guess you can give a few to my wife's brothers and use some for the tiny squeakers upstairs from Millet. Via the underscore kittens account. Ah, okay. Thank you so much, Millet. Uh, let's see. So that's fun tubes. Uh, for my family's endowments from Loom. All right. Well, we'll figure out what that is. Oh, okay. That's all we got. So fun tubes are for Millet and Co. Look at all these. I didn't know they made a bag of fun tubes that was this big. Usually you get them like in a group of three on those index cards and they kind of cost a lot of money that way. Hopefully there's a big uh, discount break when you buy them by the giant 30 pack. Millet wants one right now. Can I, can I bust one out for him right now? Millet, you need a fun tube right now, buddy? I know you do. Look at that. That's your favorite thing. Oh, yeah. He really does love these. I'm going to label one for Millet and one for everybody so I don't forget. Millet gets a whole bag. Millet. 
Perfect. And uh, gorgeous. I'll say gorgeous. Perfect. The underscore kittens. Uh, that is fantastic. Great of you to remember that that's Millet's favorite. I mean, Millet, thank you so much. Uh, that was smart of you to send your own fun tubes to yourself. And then for the kittens upstairs, uh, we have a giant collection of springs, which is one of the toys that is kicking around up there in their room already. Uh, so we know that's going to be a hit. So I'll put that right over here for that. Perfect. All right. Good. Uh, now we've got a spare box at the moment. All right. Keep moving. What is this? this? What is going on here? What am I doing? What is anything? Let's find out. Knife protection. Uh, that was pretty smart, actually. I cut the knife protection. Zoom in the camera, maybe not. Oh, look at that. It's like a Jedi cat. That's a cool photo of a cat under a blanket. That's a really cool photo, actually. And it says, Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. I have sent you some papers, as I know you enjoy receiving papers from other areas. One is the monthly paper from my hometown, and the rest are from my recent trip to Tennessee. Ooh, I do like eight papers. Oh, there they are. Okay. All right. Wow. What to see and where to be in the Smokies, the Smoky Mountains around town. Well, I took one trip to the Smoky Mountains when I was a young guy, and it was very memorable. It was a wonderful place to be. Uh, just beautiful. Oh, my gosh. So lovely. Uh, we also have the Mountain Press Weekend Edition. Oh, Driver hit light pole while fleeing police. Not such a bright idea. And the Lawrence Gazette, Earning Her Stripes. Oh, look at that. All right, very cool. Well, I am excited to take a look through those. And also included as a bed. When I saw it, I knew it was a must for the Academy. We also got someone else who ran out of ink. New pen. Hope this one writes better, but apparently not. Okay. Also in the box are some mice. Okay, we'll start with the bed. That must be this one. Look at that. It is a giant pineapple bed. That is so cool. That is so cool. Wow, it really stands up well, too. That's uh, that's, that's adorable. I don't, I don't know what to do with that right now. Uh, I don't want to deploy it yet. So it's, oh, it's, it's got a little tiny slice of pineapple hanging off the front as a cat toy. Can you see that? Very cool. Okay, let me set it right there for a minute. Probably in the way. Uh, also in the box are some mice for Loom and the kids from Chihuahua. Oh, the long-tailed mice, I think. Those are the good ones. The long-tailed mice, that's for Loom and her kids. The extra you can deploy right away. There are toys for the oranges with their names. All else can be used as you see fit. Uh, at the Academy or as endowments. Give Rotterdam an extra hug and kisses as I saw your close-up about him. Thank you for all the joy and enjoyment your live streams and close-ups give. Oh, well, thank you, Kathy. Kathy, thank you very much. These are the long tail mice. These are a big hit, too. I'm not going to deploy any of them yet, um, but we will make sure that they get out there. And you say these are sent for the purpose of Loom and her kids. So I'm going to put that in the Loom file. Oh, hey, what else? Look at this looks oddly familiar, doesn't it? Doesn't this look familiar? I guess we had more than one person with the same idea for Loom. So this is the cooling blanket once again. Cooling mat, pet cooling mat, very cool. Oh, wow, what did I just do? Uh, Kathy, all else can be used as you see fit. All right, uh, perfect. Well, let's add that to the pile of cooling mats. Now is apparently a thing, who knew? Uh, this is uh, more mice for, hang on, I'm trying to figure out, mice for movie kids from Chihuahua, Chihuahua. Uh, the toys are for the oranges with the names. 
Oh, oh, I see. Okay, hang on, we're getting there. Uh, here we have a tropical pattern cat hammock. Ooh, oh, this is a this is a much cooler cat hammock than any of the ones that we've, we've got deployed. These kids have never gotten into the hammock. Some classes live in the hammock, and some don't get into there at all. So this one has these big palm leaves on it, which I love as a pattern, but it's even cooler than that because it is a two-level hammock. If you can see here, it's basically got an inside part. It's like a cat. It's like a hanging cat bed cave. Cat cave. Yes. Like a hanging cave. That's going to be awesome. I cannot I cannot wait for somebody to find this and have it be their favorite thing. Uh, maybe Loom's kids will go for it. That's perfect. That's so fun. Uh, you also sent us uh, Enjoy the Book, and the book is Cat Miss Carols. Aww. And with illustrations, it appears to be, yes, cat versions of Christmas carols. Uh, wow. Uh, DJ is going to love this. Bark the Neighbor's Dog Will Sound. I think you can guess what that is a parody of. Carol of the Smells. Yeah, I think you get it. Uh, oh, Christmas Tree is just Oh, Christmas Tree, but the lyrics are different. Okay. It came upon a midnight cat, yes. Uh, collar bells, uh -huh. go smell it at the fountains. Uh, insistent cats rejoice, oh little town of cat mayhem. That's a good one. God rescue Mary kitty cats. Uh, Joy of the world keeps the same title. Okay, cool, wow. Get a real kick out of that, I'll put it right over here. Okay, on top of all that, we have three random unlabeled mice that I'm going to put in here since it's not entirely clear, and a bag full of toys. These must be the ones you said are labeled. Let's see. Yes, they are. Uh, we got one for Rotterdam. That's whoop, uh, now for Rio, apparently. Okay, I know. These are high-value toys. I mean, these kids are going to love these. This is Bombay's. Okay, yes. All right, okay. We're not going to show them all off because they won't let me put them back. This one's for Sydney. All right, kids, look, you're going to get plenty of time to play with these in your new houses, your new homes. Save it for your new home. Oh, these are going to be great. Kathy, thank you so much. You can see that these are a huge hit. That, those toys have a lot happening. All right, let's put that with the endowments. So you guys save it, save it, save it. You're going to love it. Okay, so those are all labeled. That's perfect. Uh, Kathy, thank you so much. I love this photo, too. That is so cute. I'm going to put it here with the cards, actually. Put this in here. There we go. Awesome. I ran out of coffee. Uh, this box is going to be really valuable in a minute. So we'll just set that over there. And I want to. I want to know what's in this, don't you? Let's find out. Because I seriously doubt it is foam hinged lid containers. Uh, but it might be. I mean, who knows? Could be. Oh, ship to Her Royal Highness, the Princess Paisley, care of Kitten Academy. Her Royal Highness, the Princess Paisley. Wow. That is a heck of a title for a little tiny Paisley who just doesn't want anything. She really is like Her Royal Highness already. Born spoiled. Uh, let's see how we open this thing. Earth. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, Paisley! Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous! Who sent this? Uh, hang on, we'll get there. This is, this is intense. Wow! Oh, it's heavy! Okay, hang on. Is there a note? Is there going to be a note? Oh, this is solid! It's, uh... Oh! It's, uh, it's actually... It might be a little heavy because it's a little damp. I wonder if it got rained on during shipping and absorbed some water, maybe? We'll take care of that. Don't you worry. We've got a dehumidifier. Uh, we've got washing and stuff. We'll figure it out. It's just a tiny bit damping, too. It's not enough to really worry about, but I might want to clean it up. Man. Look at it. Look at it. What do I say about it? Look at it. This is crazy. This is insane. It is a giant crown bed. Do you see this? And it's got little gemstones all over it. And it's, it's 
solid, and it, I think it would be really heavy even if it weren't just a little bit damp. It says KCW Dog Collars and Designs. KCW. Wow. Wow. This, I just, and it's got little crowns on the crowns. It's like Crownception. This thing is super intense. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is really something. Um, and I don't see any kind of a note, but there is a little box here that might explain things. So let's hope for that. Hang on, I'm going to put this back in the box for the moment. I don't know what else to do with it. Gift note attached to box. No, there is nothing attached to the box. It might have been at one point. Maybe in the box. It says a little something something. Oh, it is in the, oh, it's, atta it's, it's attached to the inside of the box. That's a little counterintuitive. To Sir A of KA, oh my goodness, this is so cool. Private Secretary to Her Royal Highness the Princess Paisley, I would like this crown to be treated as a hybrid between an endowment and a deployment. I would like Her Royal Highness to eventually take it home with her, but I would ask also ask to have it deployed now for her current enjoyment at KA. The chair is scotch guarded and the pillow is machine washable. Maybe the chair is too. So I expect the whole crown will stay safe even in the presence of small kittens. If it does get destroyed, I will replace it before the princess's adoption. My goodness, you don't need to do that. Uh, obviously, it's up to you if you want to use it for photographing your royal highness or anyone else. Likewise, I realize that multiple kittens will use the crown. But if you know any magic tricks to get her to think it's hers, that would be fun to see. Thank you for taking such special care of the cats and kittens, and thank you for providing us the fun of mailbag. I have the honor to remain Her Highness's most humble and obedient servant, LFS. LFS, that's amazing. And you've also included the business card of the KCW Dog Collars and Designs that apparently designed it and created it. Uh, that's... Uh, it's, I guess there's a website that is kcwdogcollars-designs.com, apparently. Uh, LFS, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is spectacular. I just don't even know uh, what to make of it. I'm going to leave this box and note with it. Uh, that is amazing. And yes, I we're going to have to see her in it at some point, and we're going to have to send it home with her, of course. Uh, we always send, try to send cats' favorite stuff with them, and it's even better if it's been deployed first because then they get to bring a little bit of the K.A. smell with them, something familiar. This is perfect. I just, I can't even, I can see that it wouldn't quite fit in the box, so yeah. Um, my guess is that it probably did, I mean, it rained the other day, it probably went through some of that. The box is a little damp too, I think. So uh, we'll take care of all that, like I said. We'll make this thing right. That is amazing. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Uh, wow. Uh, all right, I just got to sort of push that off to the side for the moment, though. We got to carry on. I can't believe that. Bad. She's going to be so cute in it, but right now, I mean, right now she's the size of like the little ball on the top of the crown. Like, she's so tiny. I, maybe we can use this. We'll be like, hey, uh, if you'll eat some food, we got something for you, but, but you got to eat some food. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Uh, wow, LFS. That is amazing. Just amazing. This over here. This over here. This uh, over here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, uh, moving right along, though. That bed, I don't just, I don't know how you found something like that. Little, little Princess Paisley. She is just, she's a spoiled princess now. That is spectacular. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, yes, and oh, no. Oh, yes, and oh, no. I'm so sorry. All right, hang on. What does it say? It says, Aw, oh, dear Mr. A, I hope these will be useful when you're cleaning up the itty-bitty kitten messes. Thank you for all that you do from R&R. and r R and r Okay, R&R, uh, &R, whoever you are and are, you have sent us the water wipes, the 99.9% .9 water uh, baby wipes. And these are, these frankly, these are very good wipes. Um, I have been using them in the annex, actually. These are the wipes that are currently deployed in the annex 
um, because the ones that we would normally order, there was a shortage of, and these came as like the number one highly recommended baby wipe on Amazon. These are the ones that apparently everybody loves, uh, with me being possibly an exception there. And the only thing that I don't like about them is they're too wet. So I think I can make them work better for me if I just squeeze them out a little bit before I put them in the, the baby wipe holder or something. Um, the, all the wetness makes them stick together too much. And then when I try to use them to clean my hands and stuff, it's just too, too much wetness. I want it to be slightly able to absorb some stuff. So other than that, they are very good wipes. They hold together. They're fantastic. And they don't have any bad smell to them. Like even the ones that I like the best have a little bit of a bad smell. And I don't know if you've ever tried this. Um, I taste the baby wipes when we get them. Uh, I know that sounds really weird. Uh, but your tongue can tell you a lot about stuff and you know that they have to be safe first off the taste because these kittens you're going to clean the kitten with it they clean themselves mom cleans them so they have to be safe to taste um, but uh, it really it has told me a couple things like those pampers ones um, you know I, would, I, I use them a lot to wipe my own face too we have the pampers sensitive the sensitive pampers ones are highly acidic uh, it's weird. You can you can taste it. You can also feel it. If you wipe yourself with it a lot, that kind of starts to get to you a little bit. But the, the sensitive pampers, um, I, I challenge you, uh, give it a lick. You'll be surprised how acidic they are. Uh, the Amazon ones that we use are not acidic, which is nice, um, but they're okay. I think they're all right. Uh, the Amazon Mama Bear brand, uh, I think we use the sensitive or the, uh, I don't know if they call it sensitive or if they call it unscented or something. I don't that's what we use. It's not unscented. It does have a scent to it, but that's fine. Uh, and then these uh, just are water. I mean, they just, they're, they're like water, like they say. So that's good stuff. They are really good that way. Um, so thank you so much for sending these. We will use them. I know we will use them. We can always use more wipes. I go through so many of these, especially lately. Uh, all right. R and R. Thank you so much, R and R. But, uh, Millet, did you lose your, your new toy? Where did it go? One of these kids got it? If you are in the bag of trash, you are not. You should not belong in the trash eating plastic. Come on, that's not the right spot for you, Bombay. You're not like that. Hi, Bombay. Little Bombay. Bombay. Okay. Oh, wow, that is a very heavy box. I think that means that we know what it contains. Let's find out. Ah, nope, I'm getting bitten. Aw, oh, Joy F. Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Thank you for letting us peek into your world. Watching you help mom cats with birthing and nurturing their babies is such a blessing. Kitten hugs from Bayou Abby, Lila, and Joy F. Thank you. And as uh, as expected, you've sent ooh, cases of the Fancy Feast Classic Pate Chicken Flavor. Again, exactly what we use here at the Academy. You sent four cases of that, which is awesome. Uh, very practical, as I say every time. Ooh, it'll help us get through a couple days of feeding these kids, these kids, the, the seven of these kids, and uh, eight if you count Millet, I can't believe how much food they go through. It is amazing, which is good. I mean, they're healthy growing boys. They ought to, um, but it is really something. I wouldn't be surprised if they average like four cans a day each. That sounds about right. Yeah, somewhere in that neighborhood anyway. Okay, uh, what now? How do we make this work for us? Let's see. Oh, I see now. Millet has apparently put his fun tube under the cage and he can't reach it. So that's a fun, fun game for him, though. Trying to reach it is a fun game. So we'll let it keep going with that for the moment. Running out of things that I can get at arm's reach without moving. But this Walmart box seems to be one, and the Walmart bag set a box says to Eddie Millet Orange. All right, Eddie Millet Orange. Uh, I know I don't think Walmart lets you leave a note, so it's good to know who it is for. I also I think maybe I got a message about who it was from. 
I'm not sure. I got to check on the chat for that one. Okay, lots of packing material. Good job. Oh, I can put this in with the crown, maybe. Good. Maybe. If I can. I can't. I can't. I can't maybe go. Okay, whatever. Wow, look at that. All that box of packing material for one X shaped scratcher. So, yeah, I think these are from Lisa for Kittens. Uh, if I remember right, Lisa for Kittens uh, 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 said they were sending a whole bunch of X shaped scratchers. Uh, because they were a big hit with her cat cats. Um, I gotta check the note. That's not that note. The note on the chat. Except that, where's my phone? Where is anything? Oh my goodness! What is happening? Let's see here. There we go. I have a phone. Uh, I have a Discord. Uh. Here we go. There will be a couple boxes from me. This is Lisa Fortkins. A couple boxes from me in today's mailbag. The Amazon stuff will have tags of all went according to plan, but there will also be some from Walmart. The X-shaped scratchers are for the oranges, port, and millet, and one for my love, Eddie. Aw. Also some wicker balls. There should be one for each of the oranges, port, and millet, and one for K.A., baby Lou. I also ordered some kitten combs, but those are on back order. I guess I'll have to wait. If you could ask Mr. A to let Eddie have a moment to himself with his scratcher before the other faculty use it uh, as theirs, that would be great. My own tiger loves his X scratcher and uses up quite a few of them. So that's Lisa Four Kittens. Okay, perfect. So, uh, yeah, actually, Eddie likes to spend time in DJ's office, and uh, it's kind of a, a place right now where the door is close to the air conditioning works in there. Um, and I think Custard's in there at the moment. One way or another, it's extremely likely that either today or in the next few days, Eddie's going to have to be put into one of the, the air-conditioned rooms, and that would be a good time to surprise him with this by himself, wouldn't it? So, uh, I'm going to write Eddie right on this first one. And uh, the guy on it kind of resembles Eddie. Not, not entirely. Eddie's much better looking. Okay, I'm just going to set it back in that box for uh, I think. Yeah. Wow. Cleaning up after today's mailbag is going to be rough, especially when I have to open those doors and start carrying everything out. It's just into the heat of the, the common areas of the house are the only part that's not air conditioned. And uh, it is hot. Oof. But like I said, uh, new air conditioning is coming soon. And until the new air conditioning comes, we can all just stay in the closed rooms. Like the kittens can stay in here. Or go up to the master bedroom once in a while, which is also air conditioned. Uh, all right. Knock down the, the ball of power in the broken box. Oh. I'm going to do this. I'm going to wrap this up. Because that's a pretty good fit. And write the same thing on the outside, which is port technically, or maybe a little. Good. Okay. Set that aside. And you've been here for the whole show. Wait, no, you haven't. I had Bombay here a minute ago. What happened? All right, well, somebody's been here. You've been here, you started here, and now you're back. That's good enough for me. Uh, so I suspect those giant boxes are mostly the X-shaped scratchers, but let's find out uh, in a minute. We'll get to those. Let's start over here. From Lisa Four Kittens. All right, well, this must be one of the things that Lisa Four Kittens mentioned. Ooh. Interesting. I hope there's a note in here somewhere, but we're going to have to dig for it. So let's just start with pom pom balls. Uh, yep, pom pom balls, more pom pom balls. A licky mat, whisker friendly and enriches feeding preferred by cats. Superb for serving raw food, wet food, delicious treats. What a weird idea. Uh, I like this idea. And you know what's funny? Well, I'll tell you in a second, but I like this idea. It's basically a, a silicone, silicone mat uh, 
that's got all this texture on it and you put the food right on it and they can eat off of this instead of a plate. It's a great idea. And I was just thinking about how we, much uh, we could use something like this for the kittens uh, as they're learning to, to eat uh, because they are, have a ton of trouble with bowls. The bowls are always a, a learning issue for the kittens when they're first starting to eat. Uh, and you may have noticed that the way I've been solving it is I just take one of our uh, uh, Tupperware containers, not tu it's not actually Tupperware, but you know what I mean, plastic storage containers for food. I take one of the shallow lids and I've been using that as like a shallow mat. This is even better though, because it's softer and it's cooler and it's got all these fun little patterns on it. Uh, what a great, great idea. I bet any of them would like it. Uh, that's that's really cool. Uh, we gotta find a note in here at some point. Here we have uh, weird little catnip kickers that are shaped like, uh, mostly like fish, but one is shaped like a cat. And they all have uh, strings on them too. Five piece catnip cat toys, all right? Gotta find notes. Uh, let's just dig down to some notes first before we try to figure out what else is in here. I see one. I see a note. Pom pom balls for endowments and KAU. So there should be enough for both uses. Yeah, there should be enough for everything forever. That's a lot of pom pom balls. Um, oh, hey, look at that. It's another purple four level uh, fall tower like we were just dealing with. I wonder what that's for. I described the last one well enough. I think we don't have to open this one. Hang on, though. Here's the rest of the notes. All right, now we got it. So pom-pom balls are for everybody. I will put that in the generic. We're going to need a bigger box for the down with stuff. Uh, there we go. Fish, boy, bleh, 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 bleh. Fish bone toy for herringbone. Now, that must be this one, even though it's got a, a whole fish and a cat in there. If he wants to split it with his siblings, that's fine by me. All right, let's uh, let's just label this right now: herringbone and all. That goes with that one. Lisa, four kittens. Thank you so much. Licky Mat intended as a slow feeder. I don't know if it would work as a slow feeder actually, because it's not. Like there's no challenge to it. It might work for kids to learn to eat food. You can even bait it with sugar or baby food and then put out the regular food on top. Hope it will work for you. Brilliant. Lisa, four kittens, that is brilliant. The minute I saw it, I'm like, that is, that is exactly the right thing. Brilliant. Uh, ball tower for loom. Oh no, well now we're really, uh, okay. Uh, you know, whatever. We got this figured out. You've got this figured out. I, I thought I was thinking ahead. Uh, but it's already there. Uh, but where do I put it? I guess I just write loom on it for sure. Loom. Uh, you know that's exactly the kind of thing she's going to like. And we'll put it on top of her diamonds. Wow. That is perfect for her. So smart. Windmill toy. They only had three per order. So please deploy or endow as you see fit. That must be what's in these boxes. There's three of those. And then I guess that must be everything. What is a windmill toy? Yeah, that's everything. Okay, let's find out what a windmill toy is. Oh, I recognize it now. It is the uh, cat fidget spinner that you've seen here. Uh, it's got, oh, this one comes with some bells. I don't think the other one had bells. It had, this one has the light up ball that lights up when they spin it. And it's got bells and it's got little catnip balls. And you can put those into the ends of the fidget spinner and then uh, you stick it on a door or a window and they can spin it around. And uh, like I said, uh, there's one kicking around here. They just they keep knocking it off the window. So right now I think it's in the drawer, but I know you've seen it around here. And I discovered uh, a little while ago as I was looking at it, that if you look close, this spiky middle part is a puffer fish. It's got a little face, a little puffer fish face and everything in the middle. So it's super cute. It's a, it's a puffer fish fidget spinner for cats with a suction cup so you can stick it on a window or the floor or whatever you got, your forehead. Uh, those are perfect. That's a great point. Those will be great for endowments or, uh, for whatever, but I think endowments is good. So I'm going to put that with the poor kids endowments, which we're going to need a bigger box for now, too. Uh, but we got bigger boxes, so we'll figure that out. Uh, maybe I can just throw 
bring some of them in here. Let's do that. Let's just start using two boxes. These uh, four kittens, very smart. Uh, those, are, those are great ideas. Uh, let's see what's next. Uh, reach. Oh, uh, he can't do it. He can't. He can't do it. Wait, wait. Ah. Oh, got it. Okay. This is a cool idea. That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> what are you sniffing over there, Millie? Very interesting. Oh, very interesting smells. This looks like a giant stack of the Chihuahua long tail mice, or maybe some other product of theirs. Oh, it is some other product. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where are all the notes? There's more in here too, but let's see. Anybody want to guess who this is from? Ah, uh, you would have guessed right. Blue Mouse Toys. There's a couple other things in here, like I said. Please split these up for the oranges. There's five packages. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is it. Blue Mouse Toys. There's five packages of two each. There's one for Millet and Loom and one for each of the kittens, oranges and pork. That's good. Okay, we'll split them up. What is a Blue Mouse Toy? Ooh. Wow. Uh, it is a big, soft, blue mouse uh, with a little catnip packet. Oh, it's got a Velcro belly, uh, so you can put the catnip in it, and it's got a bell that's on a necklace. Oh, it's got a collar. It's a big old mouse with a collar with a bell on it. The bell's on the wrong side, but that can flip around. Uh, and a little tiny catnip package that's shaped like a cat that you can put inside the zip uh, ziplock. Zip, no, uh, Velcro belly. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so just as described, it's a big, poofy blue mouse. Uh, there's one of those for each of the orange kids uh, and port and pillar. So perfect. Oop. Uh, there. There we go. Right. Boom. There. Okay, perfect. All right. Uh, notes. Hang on. Let's see here. All right. Notes, notes, notes. Blue mouse toys. Yes, blue mouse toys. Yep, yep, yep. Good. More blue mouse toys. Uh, for KA use and endowments. Okay. And there should be one more note, I think. But there's not. Oh, wait. Here we go. Cat hammock for KA use. If it doesn't work in a cage, these can be mounted under a chair. So this is the hammock. It is a zebra print hammock. That's pretty fun. We'll add that over here. And then the last one you said was gotta go back now back notes back reverse 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 oh you just said for ka use yes okay whatever this is for ka use and endowments oh it's charlie balls look at that sparkly Ooh, very sparkly those are great i've seen a lot of those kicking around here too so i know these kids like them ka use and endowments uh i'm gonna put those in the care endowment stuff for now and we'll figure it out from this perfect though in fact some of this like this can go over there and some of this like this is for us to use so let's try sorting it like that uh this stuff Oops. this is ari and eddie though ari and eddie that's got to stay there these over here perfect Ari and Eddie. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. I spooked you. Spooked me. I didn't know you were going to jump like that. All right, that will work for the moment. Good and good. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, oh, I need more coffee. How about you guys? Do you need more coffee? It's fine. We're almost done. We're just going to push on through. Kitten Academy mailbag. All right, that's us. Ooh, oh, this is good. Oh, this is very good. Perfect timing on this. I'll tell you why. 
first let's find the notes the notes say hello ka family it's time for us to say bon voyage thanks for the grins and giggles from the oranges port and our little special millie we've enjoyed having you around for endowments for whomever still whoever needs one still from ka friend Gosh, that's a little grim. I hope that that means uh, goodbye to the oranges who are leaving us and not uh, th this KA watcher is leaving us because that would be awful. Uh, but uh, let's see here. Okay, there's three notes. Um, so uh, that was the first note. The second note says, Hey, KA, mom, cats, kittens, big and small, faculty, and of course, the humans who care for them, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Also, shout out to all of us YouTube watchers and Discord followers. From KA Watcher, baby food for you to use as you see fit, especially if Roddy's mouth is still hurting. Such a cute little food ball. Okay, all are cute no matter which clan. I am so glad all are ready for their adooters. And it says, it's time for it to say bon voyage. Thanks for the grins and gills from the oranges port and our little special Millie. We've enjoyed having you around for endowments for whoever needs one. All right. I think that makes more sense that when I read it that in that order, it doesn't sound like the KA watcher is leaving us. It sounds like the oranges are, and they are going to their homes. Uh, so you sent two sets of 10. You sent 20 cans of the uh, Gerber chicken and gravy baby food, which is exactly the baby food that we use here for cat treats. And yes, um, I've been mixing it up for Rotterdam in a tremendous quantities. I actually just ordered a whole bunch of it myself too, but we're going through it really fast. So uh, this is super helpful. Plus, um, you know, even if Roddy doesn't end up eating it all himself, um, we do use it for treats, and the kids all love it. These kids go insane for it. I mean, really insane for it. Um, so it's good. Roddy still goes insane for it, too. If I give it to him plain, he'll lick it off my finger still a little bit, which is nice. It's good to know he will. But you can tell he doesn't really want to. Um, so what I do instead is I mix it up with some high-calorie, uh, like AD, or we're actually using, uh, right now, we're using RS. And RS is just the Royal Canaan version of AD. So it's the same stuff, basically. Uh, I think AD is nicer, though, because uh, as the AD advertising will tell you, it is thixotropic. Uh, thixotropic, I don't know. Whatever it is, it means that the more you stir it up, the thinner it gets, uh, even if you don't mix it with anything, which makes it really nice for, like, syringing and stuff. It's great. Where uh, the RS doesn't do that as much. Still, it's thin enough to syringe feed in. So that's what I do. <clears throat> I take some baby food, some RS, I mix them up, I put it in a syringe, and then I just squirt it into his mouth. And once it's in his mouth, he does great. He loves it. He eats it, and it's, it's fine. He just has a little trouble getting it in there himself, I think. Uh, so he'll get over it soon, I know. Uh, and then you also sent some of the long tail mice, uh, which, uh, oh, your note says, we're going to just pour it in our little special really. So perfect. And those are, as you saw, I just showed you one earlier, you guys just said, they're a big hit. So I'm going to put that right over here with their endowments. This is great. And this I'm going to try to set right here. I'm running out of room. Perfect. <clears throat> very, very helpful. All right. Uh, I can't open. Oh, I can. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't open one more thing without disturbing you. So that's what we'll do. That pineapple will go up there for the moment. This can go over here. And this will open next. This night, yes. Tiny little ant man. Ooh. Oh, that's a fun one. <coughs> Excuse me. Just something for the Academy from Trouble and Free. Oh, well, so first off, you have a fun cardboard bed. These things are great. Scratch, snuggle, and rest. It's a cardboard bowl. It's all his cardboard bowl. These are awesome. The cats love them. Uh, and something else. Well, it is something else. <coughs> Excuse me. I, <coughs> Excuse me. I just uh, starting to get a little phlegmy for some reason. 
I guess the one note covers it all. So it's all just basically for use around the academy or whatever we see fit from trouble and carry. We all know who that means. But this I can't figure out because it just says cat scratcher. So let's see what it looks like. <clears throat> It is a, oh, it's a big old rainbow with a rainbow punch out of it. So you can uh, punch that out and have a rainbow. Look at that. Not bad. I bet they'll like this. It'll go really good with that rainbow theme. We've got another different kind of rainbow scratcher downstairs. Oh, look, I bet if you just punch this out partway, it'll make a little cave they can play in and hold this thing upright at the same time. So you just punch it out the back a little bit like a leg. Oh, that's going to be really cool. I like this. That's, that's going to be super, super fun. Uh, that's that's great. I'm going to label this as being for the rainbow theme, which we're working on for, for flowering our kids. But uh, I've actually got my fingers crossed we may sort of keep that stuff around for a while because I like it. I like all of it. Uh, so I'm just going to write rainbow on this, though. Descriptive. Perfect. Uh, Trouble and carry, uh, whoever else may be involved. Thank you so much for those. Those are going to be awesome. And that now means I have to get up before we can open the rest of anything, Ant. That means, that means you have to get up too, buddy. My little Ant Man. Hi, Tiny Ant Man. Oh, hi. This is. This is. This is. Can I reach this? Oh, yep. I got one more thing without having to put it down. But then after this, all we have left are the three big boxes, and I'm going to have to stand up for that, buddy. No, I wasn't talking to you, Google. Uh, did I just put my knife away somewhere? How do I keep losing that knife that's got that big old thing on it so specifically so that I won't lose it? It'll turn up when I clean the room. <laughs> That's not a good way to open this. That's not a way to open this at all. Oh, I put it away. What was I thinking? I'm not done with you, knife. Uh, chickadee chirp. Oh boy. <clears throat> Enjoy your gift. Send out gifts for four to the boys and luminar babies, but forgot a gift for sweet millet from Linda B. Oh, Linda B. Again. Thank you so much. You've sent an electronically chirping chickadee for millet, which is perfect. It's like a tiny version of that bird that you see Ford carrying around all the time. It's a little smaller, but it's a lot cuter. Look how cute he is, that little beak and the little wings. And a little pull tab you can use to make him start chirping. We're just going to leave that right where it is. Uh, we'll leave that for millet's adopter to deal with. And I'm going to write millet all over this so we make sure it goes to the right person. Millet. Right on the back too, so I don't miss it. Perfect. Right in here, because he's going to go with the oranges. <clears throat> perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. All right. It was uh, Linda B, right? I keep wanting to call you Laura for some reason, but it's Linda B, I'm sure. Pretty sure. All right, Aunt, now I'm going to have to get up. We're going to have to open the big old boxes. You ready for that? Let's find out. I'm going to just, oh, I can't just zoom that camera out a little. Well, I can, but it's not easy. Give me a sec here. Let's do this. Let's go through the whole process. Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Oh, that's the wrong one, though. All right, good. Let's try the big boxes now. Sorry, Ann. Sit right there. I'm 
this first one, I'm not even going to try to move. We're just going to open it while I'm standing up here. And I'll have to put it down uh, to get to the next one, so we'll figure this all out. Right. And lots and lots of packing material all around something. Oh, an infinity scratcher. Well, that comes in its own box. They could just, oh, ship that. That's, whoa, 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 that's something I'm going to drop. Look at that. It is the infinity scratcher. You guys all know the infinity scratcher because there's one right there and there's one upstairs and they're great. Uh, and everybody loves them. And there's the note. And the note says, Hoping Port and Loom can take one of these home with them. Mom cats deserve their individual thrones and cat lounges for sure. Hugs and kisses, Shell! Shell! Wow, the Infinity Scratcher from Shell. That is awesome. So you say Port and Loom can take one of these home with them. I hope so too. Mom cats deserve to get all the best stuff, don't they? So let me put this back here for a second. And see if this is another one, and I'll just label one for port and one for loom if that's the case. I'm guessing it is. And uh, it's funny that the Amazon package can do this way, but it's also very convenient for us because, like I said, we're going to need these big boxes for all the endowments. Exactly what it is. I don't see another note here. But I think we know what's up. Shell! My goodness, that is so amazing and generous of you, too. These are not cheap, but they are very nice. Uh, and they're both the walnut brown color. Good, nice neutral color. Everybody can use. Uh, back in your time. So there's a note. Don't be Port and Loom to take one of these home with them. Oh, my goodness. Port and Loom's adopt. Port's adopter because they're coming right up, and Loom's too later on. You're going to need so much space to get all this stuff home. It's a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm going to take this. I'll, I'll deal with that later. Okay. We've got one more box. Put that right up there. Okay. For now. One more big Walmart box. I think we know what this is then. This must be from Lisa Four Kittens. Let's find out. Uh, Shell, 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 thank you so much. I don't know how to say thank you enough. That's just wonderful. Oh man, speaking of uh, wonderful and not cheap, uh, we do. It's a giant box of cardboard X's. Just a ton of the cardboard X's. And you said one of these for each of the oranges, right? And one for Port, and one for Millet, and one for Eddie. So that's one, two, three, uh, four. Wow, I don't know why they packaged these separately. There's just barely enough extra room in here. To fit that last one in, um, but they filled it up with packing material instead. Exactly the right amount of space that you could have just put it right in here. Uh, weird choice, Walmart, but okay. Oh, no, actually, even more space than I thought. Okay, that's fine. We'll get to that. Uh, we got one, two, hang on, hang on. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh, that's fine. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> one. Two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven in here. And actually, uh, the way I, oh, seven, eight, nine, yep, eight, nine, and then one more for Eddie that we'll just leave out so it doesn't get put away with the endowments. I actually managed to pack those in half the space uh, just by scanning them up the other way. Very efficient packing, actually. I'm proud of myself. I'm, I'm taking my Tetris title back. Yeah. Uh, okay. That got us through everything, though. And since that's for Port and the kids, and it's huge, I'm going to start putting this stuff right in there. Uh, this is not the one for Port. That's not the one for Port. This is the one for Port. Yes, this is. This right in there. Carry it all down at once in one giant box. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Lisa, four kittens. All that cardboard, all those axes, those look so cool. I know we've seen those in the past. I don't know if we've ever, I think we did deploy one once. But it was so long ago, I can't remember what the kittens thought of it. 
So uh, it'll be fun to see Yaddies and see what everybody thinks of it. And it'll also be fun to send one of these home with everybody. That's going to be great. The, the uh, infinity scratchers are awesome. Everything is awesome. This room is now completely full of cardboard and caps and packing material and mailbag. I can't believe we used to just do these in the room all the time. Let's see if I can get a picture of this for posterity. Um, I need a picture that really shows how, how full the room is. I think that does the trick. OK. Um, well, as usual, though, what I'm going to do now, I think I'm going to open the doors. The kids are going to run out. The air conditioning is all going to go out. Uh, but it doesn't matter for a little while. And then uh, I'll take all this stuff out. I'll get put away just like we always do. And then at the end, I will round up the kittens either in here or take them up. I, I bet DJ is going to want them in the master bedroom to hang out with her. Uh, but I'll close up the doors. We'll just switch into views over to just the annex if that's the case. And we'll, we'll figure it out. My point is, we're not done yet. Uh, first, I got to get all this stuff put away. And if I open the doors and everybody runs out, it's all part of the plan. Well, I mean, we'll say, uh, you know, I planned it that way. Which I did, but only because I don't think that I have any choice in the matter. Uh, oh, let's label one of these for Port and one of these for Loom right now. Oh, Shell, these are great. Uh, Lisa, the, the other ones, oh, they just, oh, so much, so much great stuff for these kids. Yeah, uh, Lisa for Kids says, hang on to the boxes for the endowments. Yeah, I said that a few times, I think, but these boxes are going to be perfect for the endowments. Uh, so I'm going to write Loom in this one. I'm going to write it over here too. Loom. Loom already loves her, if you know that. And you also have seen, uh, Loom already loves her Infinity Scratcher, I mean. Uh, you've seen her sitting on it, I think. And you've also, I think, seen uh, Fort spend a lot of time on hers, right? Also, Loom's kids are at that unfortunate stage where they like to hide inside the Infinity Scratcher and we can't see them at all. That's, that's unfortunate, but, uh, but it is what it is. We'll get the camera sorted out there eventually. You know, in due time, as we say about everything. Too much, a little too much, a little too often. I think I'm going to use the fact that there's no air conditioning and uh, I can't really cook in the kitchen today because I don't want to heat up the house even more than it is. I'm going to take that all as an excuse to order some lunch. My belly's telling me that would be a great idea. I've got to consult with DJ about that. Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to get this stuff out of here. Port's playing with her toys. She, so anytime that the kids are in the room and Port is closed out, like she has been during Mailbag, she always does the same thing. She gathers up all of her Mylar balls and her squeaky bird toy and all of her favorite stuff, and she leaves them outside the door. So the few times that the kids have been in here overnight and she's been out in the house overnight, when I come down in the morning, that door, I don't know, I guess you can see me on all the cameras. The door there to the, the living room and the door to the kitchen just to have mylar balls. Uh, oh, and actually, I've seen you do it over here at this door, too. So all three doors just have, a, like, a line of mylar balls all around the door. It's so cute. Uh, she's doing it right now, which is why I mentioned that. She just brought, uh, I can see there's several mylar balls there already, and she just brought her bird toy over. It's adorable. Okay, time to get this stuff put up, uh, and then uh, I'll be back. I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see these kids come out in the living room with it, maybe. Uh, although it's a little dark out here. It's not as bad out here as I thought. Of course, the temperature right now is it's pretty bearable if you're not doing anything. If you just sit and do nothing, it's all right. But the minute that I get up and start vacuuming or cooking or cleaning or taking care of cats, I just overheat and sweat like crazy. So it's another, it's a good excuse to do nothing, right? I like that too. You use that once in a while. Look at Port. Is she on the camera? I hope because that's too cute. She is perfect. Port is such a big kitten. She's just a big kitten.
Um, I expect it to be much cooler down in the basement, and it is not. That's a surprise. This box is like enough volume for the endowments on a regular class by itself. Here we have one mailbag worth of reaches. Yeah, but yeah, kind of through.
DJ says she's evaluated the princess and that she wants to be tuned. Well, maybe it's tuned on the princess at least. The one who likes it the least. She thought the artist one too. She and Argyle kind of tied with She's probably in first place. Probably. The photo finish.
Well, before I do, I'm going to try to wrap this up, and uh, we will try to get all the kids back in the room for now. They'll have some lunch, and then I'll probably bring up the DJ. Thanks, Kim, to everybody who said everything. It was amazing, and uh, going through the endowments to get them sorted with before these adoptions happen, which are coming right up. Uh, like I said, I dread it right up until the minute I actually start doing it. So we will get to that. Uh, but meanwhile, I've got to uh, wrap this up. I got to get these kids some lunch, and I got to go help my little buddy Rotterdam. And I got to go help Paisley because DJ says Paisley needs some food. So I got a lot to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have Millie in here too. Millie, come on, buddy. All right, if you are watching on the archives, uh, go check out the Kid Academy live stream. If you're watching live, you already are. No worries. <laughs> 